welcome. Today I wanted to try putting chiffon in resin. I've seen a couple of videos about it. None of them, except for one, were very informative, and I will link that one. It's um, Pouring Your Heart Out. The tutorial that she provided was extremely helpful. So I'm following a very similar um, type of technique, yet I did not cut my fabric into the shape of the mold that I'm using, and I'm not using a white chiffon. I actually chose this blue ombre um, just to try something different, see what type of effect that would give. So let's get started. First, I mixed up um, just a small amount of resin, about two ounces, that I'm pouring into the bottom of my mold. And I am gonna pour it slow and close to the mold just to help, or hopefully help offset um, introducing any additional bubbles into my resin. I do not have a degassing chamber, so I know that in the Pouring Your Heart Out video she used one but I don't have one, so I'm just taking it slow and hoping that I don't introduce additional bubbles. Now that my resin is in the mold, I'm going to spritz it with a little isopropyl alcohol. Again, rationale is to minimize bubbles as much as humanly possible. And then I am going to take this piece of chiffon and place it over the mold. And then I'm just gonna use one of these nail tools with a silicone tip and press down in the middle very slowly and work my way around the mold, bringing in the fabric as I push down into the resin. And be cautious when you're doing this. I just sped this up because it took a while. Be very slow. It is going to take you a while. And just keep an eye on the fabric and make sure that you don't have bubbles getting trapped underneath of that fabric. If you do, you need to get rid of them. Otherwise, it's going to show up on the piece once you actually demold. So just um, take your time. And as you're pushing it in, you can start to work into a design if you want. Once I finish this and I demold it, um, it's cool looking, but I wish I had actually used more fabric to give more texture and depth to it. So I probably will do another one later with um, a larger piece of fabric. But since this was really you know, my first try at this, I wanted to um, do it as close to what I had seen actually worked as opposed to starting off with something large. Once you have it all in the mold, just work the design, try not to introduce new bubbles, get out any that you might find, spritz it with some isopropyl alcohol, and then just let that sit and cure um, per your manufacturer's instructions. And I'll bring you in for a close-up so you can see the fabric and the resin. And now I'm just gonna let this sit probably for six to eight hours. Okay. Now we're back, the um, fabric has cured in the resin. Now I'm mixing up um, about five ounces of resin. And I just put a little bit of the white alum aluminite um, pigment in there just to give it a white backing to make that uh, blue ombre pop. And again, I'm just pouring slowly, making sure that I'm covering all of that fabric and that it's getting in all of those little grooves that the fabric made on top so that I'll have a flat backing. Um, and then once I finish getting that into the mold, I'll spritz it with a little isopropyl alcohol and allow that to cure um, per the manufacturer's instructions as well. And here we are, the magic of video, demolding, it's cured. And let's see what we have. Are you ready? Here we go. Wow, it actually turned out much nicer than I thought that it would. I have no bubbles on the front, which is excellent. Um, but again, I do hope, wish I had used a little more fabric to give it that depth. Um, maybe also the using the color resin and the white chiffon gives it more depth. I might need to try that and see how that turns out. But all in all, for my first go, I think I did a pretty good job. 
I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and press the bell to be alerted to future videos.